<laughs> That's exactly how many you need, two out of three, yeah. Yeah, but that does mean, I mean, yeah, we'll see if this is one of the two then, I guess, because we might have a game after this, depending on how OG does. So let's see if uh, Team Spirit can punch their ticket to the... We're finding... Prepare for battle. No. 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 Greetings. OG versus Team Spirit game number two. Brought to you by Sunsfan and Cinderin. How are you doing this evening? I'm great. I'm lounging. That's enjoying good. myself, and I'm ready to watch some more high quality Dota between these two teams. OG really got to step up after that game number one. That was not one of their best showings for Spirit. However, a great and hot entry into this series. And they have got themselves quite a few very high rated heroes in this tournament so far. They've got Dragon Knight, Sven and Puck. They're running a support terribly, which I'm personally very curious to see. That's the first time we get to cast that. Yeah. I'm OG, scared. not a single top tier pick in sight, except the Razor, I guess you could argue, but they're playing at carry. Yes. Which well, no tiny, other team has done that we've covered. Too. Yeah, I suppose. Uh, but he's not like wildly contested in terms of like first phase bans or whatnot. Yeah, it feels um, like they got so crushed in that game one. They're like, let's just try a pocket strat to some degree. Yeah. And the we'll see begins. how it works out for them. Definitely risky. But if it works out, they're going to look like geniuses. Tomato and if it doesn't work out, you feel. can always just say you lost to the world Such champions. So, yeah. why not? So it will be the Terrorblade as a support, which, like you said, we haven't gotten the, ca the chance to cast. And uh, do you know how to, how do they build, like, what's the idea behind this? So the way Spirit picked it here, they picked it, I want to say after Sven, right? So it wasn't even, am I remembering the draft correctly here when I say that? Or did they pick it before Sven? Because I forgot whether they were picking it as a red herring and then just, you know, when OG counterpick it, I think, it was the other way around. So OG counterpicked it with Darkseer, right? And then they relinquished it to support. I think that's what happened. So um, the idea was to bait out some sort of counter from OG to that and then run a different carry. And what Terrorblade does as a support is in lane, you're gonna be casting Reflection to pressure the both of the enemy heroes at the same time. And then obviously you get level two, you will have meta, so you trade really well. And later down the line, as a support, you offer arguably the strongest Radiant heal in the game, right? Sunder will be able to protect any hero that's in major trouble, obviously putting yourself at risk. But if you die, you were just a support saving your big cores. Yep, that's right. That's the idea. He's already killed a courier. Terrorblade the courier killer. This is not his nickname. This is not the first time in Dota history that Terrorblade support is a thing, by the way. It has happened before. Has it? I don't know. Yeah, in Dota Dragon 2. Dragon Tail, Blood Grenade to follow. Tomato continue to get healed by Seb, but will it be enough? Doesn't look like it. Oh. One more right click, not even needed as Collapse has the Breathe Fire. First Blood goes to him, and already the DK Terrorblade lane ruining pubs everywhere. A couple of extra facts about this hero that are interesting in the support role. He has 315 move speed, one of the highest in the game. Mm -hmm. uh, or well, okay, but it's it's in the higher half, and uh, it allows him to stick on targets there. You throw the blood grenade, and you can keep attacking them even in melee form. You add the slow of reflection on top, and then that makes for an, a very nice and easy chase down. And he has nine armor. So if you're trying to trade support versus support... Oh, he's the courier killer, remember? Courier <laughs> they don't killed. even bother trying to micro it. Seb relinquishes control to Mira. And I mean, okay, do you skill any differently? I'm assuming meta, yeah, meta is the second spell to come. Yeah, you max, uh, you max reflection. It's your main spell, because okay. it's, uh, it's the lowest, it's the highest impact, lowest cooldown spell you have. So you're gonna max that out. You're still gonna get at least one value point in Conjure Image for scouting purposes and maybe for a little bit of farming during downtime. Uh, but yeah, that's that's the main idea. So if you're a new Dota player that came from the anime, because we know many people watched and loved that series, and uh, you're wondering, why is Terrorblade the demon, the main villain of the story of support? That's a good question. It's a different timeline. Not in the... <laughs> that, they can TP a, out. Different universe as Mira. Yeah, just a simple TP. He still has plenty of HP as well. Yeah. When you talk about this high armor, it is ridiculously high. Yep. 
I can't let you. Uh, what I was saying about this uh, hero being played before, <clears throat> I actually think we cast this game together, where there was a Yapsor for Terrorblade. Or maybe I'm remembering it incorrectly and it wasn't with you, but I know he absolutely played it once or twice in a tournament. Nice. Back Inks with well. Secret. One to two. Big to damage. Another toss out, and Aposhka actually will fall, so ends up working out for OG. Uh, how many years ago is this? I want to say three or four. Okay, I don't remember what I had for dinner yesterday, so. Okay, uh, it was trouble with that. It was this morning. I uh, also don't remember that. Secret played uh, with Yapsor this morning in this tournament, as a matter of fact. <laughs> you are just getting a bit God. delirious. I do miss Yapsor. Yeah. The competitive scene, though, I will say. One of the most exciting position for us to ever grace the Dota world. World Orca. record holder for most kill steals with Fate Bolt. Yep, that's probably true. Fairy Fire Ari wants to try to turn this around. Toss up, will eventually fall One to the Ink Swell. Now Whisper's in trouble too. Yeah, Gatoro's coming in. Oh, Our this is real is bad. And he will get cleaned up by the right clicks. That is no good. That was the old domino effect, trying to help your teammate syndrome. Just let him die. Also believe, aside from Mira in this tournament, I believe we have seen two other players play the support Terror Blade. Probably. And so. Meta is popped by the support Terror Blade. Collapse. Let's focus on Seb, but we'll turn his sights back. As Tomato. Just continue to right click away. Radiant structures are fortified. And yeah, Midley, we haven't really talked about too much. BZM sitting on 30 and 7. Laurel at 26 and 2. So slight advantage there for OG. And yeah, even the mid pick, you're right. Like all these picks are kind of out of meta, minus the Razor slash Tiny. We've had we've had a decent amount of Void Spirit games, but it's not exactly a prioritized hero. The Void Spirit it feels was. like there's literally no other pick, so it just has to be Void Spirit. That's what it's felt like in a lot of these games. Toss back, Ari. Well, the follow is Yotoro. Silence is still there. Even Laurel coming to play. And this is going to be another death for Whisper. And they're going to give the kill to Laurel. He is losing his mid lane by a decent margin. So this kill will definitely be a big help as BZM will pick up his level six. Big gank coming in from Mira. <laughs> what am I watching? All right, what do you build on this hero then? Because I know one of the games, who was it playing? They just built carry items. I, I don't understand. I mean, that's obviously a luxury you have if the game is going well or if it goes super late and you get farm, you can do that. I think something in this game that would be great would probably be the Spirit Vessel. The panel was talking about him buying that in two pubs, I think. Uh, that could be interesting against the IO. Wouldn't mind seeing a Vlad's for the team. You know, just buy auras because your primary job in the game is to cast Reflection and Sunder the initiated target. And then you can buy whatever utility you need. So, so we're not going to be saying Armlet, Shadow Blade, Dagon, is what you're saying? No, because this is a pro game. You're saying that's never been done in a pro game? I think that has that? never been done in a oh, pro game. Oh, come on. Dota 1, probably. Not even kidding. Also, probably not. It's probably true. It's a really popular strategy, Cinder. You just don't remember in your old age. I remember playing it in Dota 1. The yeah. Dagon Terror Blade. Was it successful for you? I do not remember that, so probably not. I'm sure you had fun though. That's the most oh, yeah. important thing. I always remember when I have fun in Dota. When 2018 was a great year. Is that before neutral? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just needed to go for an old year so it wasn't recent, you know? Oh, okay. <laughs> it wasn't like very specifically that year. Uh, I wasn't casting then, so that's another reason. For yeah, that play. was a, oh man. I was like you the scene at that point. I was, uh, I was on to Artifact, the new hot card game from Valve. Itaro, being pressured a bit by Whisper as the coil comes out from Laurel. And OBZM wants to try to counteract this. Looks like the Darkseer will fall first. Big avalanche from Ari. Is it enough to take out Laurel? Not quite. Oh, nice phase. That is not going to hit Laurel, who's the intended what target. BZM God. falls, and Laurel does not. Why are they not tipping him? What a sick play from Laurel. He dodges. He does the perfect phase shift timing to dodge the Astral Step, and then he afterwards gets the... I think he also dodged an attack with the with the illusory. We're gonna see the replay here. So keep an eye on the puck in this situation. There, gonna dodge. BZM. There, he dodged Ooh. the tree the tree throw as well. Yeah, beautiful. with the jaunt. Just masterclass from Laurel. Gorgeous play. 3K lead for Spirit. 
And already OG feeling a bit of pressure. And I guess the question for you is, since they went for this IO Razor, when does that come online? Or when do they need to start pressuring Spirit in some regard? Yeah, that's a good question. It's it's hard to answer just because we don't really have a great frame of reference in this Radiant patch for this strategy. I wonder how attack. comfortable Spirit are with... Uh, I mean, obviously, they're doing great in this game so far, so definitely feeling very good. But just conceptually against this, if they have a good idea of the, the timings that are well, at play... It might have to be on hold, Cinderin, because Tomato is getting triple teamed as Mira. Oh, he actually attack. won't do anything. He'll look. <laughs> Successfully for too. the kill set. Next on the list, down goes the God, aka Io. Yeah, if you didn't watch the last game, you'll be like, <laughs> oh yes, I mean, Seb's good, I know. <laughs> and Amira does get taken out, which you usually be more excited about, except for the fact that it is a support Terrorblade. I'm going to say that for the 20th time this game, because I literally still can't believe that this is a thing that players are pulling out in this tournament. When was this time that it was a support before? Is that during my Radiant's artifact year? Under attack. I'm sorry, I got distracted <laughs> for a moment. I'm just laughing. Yeah, Toro denied a bounty rune and then he got tipped by Mira. Oh. How did this even happen? Did he have an illusion? Oh, did he oh, actually... oh they're going to try to go for this again. They don't get the double stun, but oh, no, they this... might still have the damage. The ink swell connects onto both. And one toss comes up. Tomato actually living for now. That's a big plasma field. The rest of the rotation comes in from OG. The wall is placed as well, and three dead for Spirit. So a little bit of badly. Absolutely. Radiant's that was as close as it attack. gets, and OG getting something to go their way. Feels like it's been attack. the entire series they've been waiting for something like that. Yep, pretty much. And while it is good, they're still at a major disadvantage in this game, but without a play like that, this could have become an absolute avalanche of a game. No pun intended. Good one. But I said no pun intended. Good one. No, but you, you did intend it. Not really. Coil. Museum's gonna snap it right off the bat. Inkswell is coming as well, but they silence on top. Good layering. I don't think they have the damage though. BZM trying to get the Aether Rim onto Laurel, but able to pop that Invis rune out of range. Ari have the vision here. The courier is delivering to, <laughs> to Laurel, so I think Ari has an idea. He at least was there a moment ago. And I'm not gonna lie, I got a little excited, Cinderin, when I saw IO Tiny pick. Like, oh, old school, that's fun. Yeah. Ends up being the Razor instead. Totoro will be forced to TP out. So to answer your question about timing, uh, I think the this is not so much about the IO Razor, but it's about the Darkseer, actually, I think. Um, when you're playing this type of lineup with Darkseer, you want to have a prime. I spell generally a couple of levels in vacuum, and then you want to have one or item, and then you want to play with Whisper. And we're starting to approach that point now. He has the mech, he has three on Surge and one vacuum only so far. I imagine you want to start leveling that instead of maxing out Surge, but we'll see. Maybe it's the low cooldown that is really valuable here. Um, but he is going to be the hero that can bring OG's lineup together. You want to you want to put Ion Shell on the Void Spirit, you want to put Ion Shell on the Tiny, and even on yourself, and then land some sort of a big spell combo. The Razor needs time, a lot of time. He's level seven. Sven is level 11, okay? Wow. That is what we're looking at here. Yeah, Toro has a level per minute in this game. Wow. So you're never going to close this gap through farming. Uh, it has well. to be through fighting. Bait out the reload and back off. All of OG Radiant's are here chasing really ghosts. And Mira. And Mira. Is the one they're chasing. Looks like he's just gonna get away though. He's bottom net worth, so even if they found him, not really worth Radiant's too much. Bottom tower has fallen. BZM. Looks like Aghanim Scepter will be his first main purchase. Balance. Silence against the likes of Laurel. Which we've been seeing. The Witchblade into Yules normally on the pucks at this tournament. Has the Witchblade now. Yep. Toro setting up for a smoke gank, but nobody's up there at the moment. Collapse. He's got his blank orb of corrosion. Interesting. I don't know if we've seen, have we seen that on TV? No, that, uh, that stood out to me earlier as well. I was like, that's curious. And it does help you push towers faster, and maybe he had value of it in lane because they were playing double melee with reflection. It might be specifically with TB that he does this. But it is indeed quite different from what we mostly see. 
Bzm and Ari were spotted. Now Maposhka will run to the north. And, yeah, we should probably be talking about Whisper a bit more on this Dark Seer. Not a hero we get to see all too often. He has a mech. And going for a BKB, then blink, it seems. Yeah. So not going to be seeing Radiance middle a Veil, Shiva's type thing, at least not yet. I think the BKB is a very good choice this game. There's just too many problems. This hero Radiance needs freedom in the fight. It needs to be able to land its combo. Radiance and at this level of play with what you're playing against, it'll be tough without it. On collapse, and the relocate's coming. That ends up being a really easy kill for OG. You need a couple more of those. Uh, but yeah, the Dark Seer, pretty cool hero because you can itemize so Dyer's differently game to game. Uh, it begs the question, why is this hero not picked more often? That's a question Dyer's for you. Tower. Is it the it's matchups in lane? Yeah, lane matchups. Oh, it's gonna get gone on, but the instant foil from Larva, the ninth avalanche, Soulbind is there to dissuade them from going in further. Easy, I'm using that haste to pressure a bit, but not able to find a second connection here. But the tier one to OG. Yeah, so Dyer's the reason Darkseer isn't getting as much love is it, it struggles in a lot of lanes and doesn't really win in the ones that it does well. And okay, Mira. Toss back onto the support, TV. Down he goes. Uh, and aside from that, um, it's also not really the stereotypical. It's a very different offlaner than most of the meta ones right now. It doesn't like initiate in the same fashion that we see from these strength offlaners that by blink. You can get blink on Darkseer and find a vacuum, but at, in general, you're very much at the mercy of playing with the correct lineup. So in order to pick this hero, first of all, you can't first pick it in the draft. Then you need to have a lineup that even functioned with it down the, down the stretch. And with most teams valuing the offlaner as an early pick, that kind of removes that part of it. It does feel like and kind then, of like a secondary initiator, right? Yeah, it's like, it's a great follow-up when the fight breaks out, and ideally you also want a good core matchup. In this game, he has two of them, I would say. The Terrorblade, which then was not no longer a core, and the Dragon Knight. The illusion of Dragon Knight is very strong um, when he gets levels in particular. So... I can see why they went for it, and so far so good, right? I, I feel like Whisper is a big part of the reason that OG are still looking quite good in this game. By no means ahead, but they've stemmed the bleeding significantly. Alright, might Spirit be will in. find Ari here. Might be in some hurt here. Dragon Tail finds him. Oh, they're gonna they reload in here? Coming. OG wants to fight. Avalanche is there. Ari's still alive, actually. Soulbind immediately fought by Maposhka, but he's deleted for his efforts. Coil now on basically the entirety of OG. He's gonna hold them back as oh, oh, Ari's oh. going in really deep. Can they punish this? We'll be able to face shift a bit off as Yatoro pops that god strength. Sunder was used by Mira. They're trying to turn this around to BZM, who's all alone. Astral Step, oh, gets off the Resident Pulse just in time. Again, the extra physical damage mitigation. And Spirit, kind of getting punished here a bit. Not really any huge kills, but... OG, OG are feel like they're survivable. Fight. They bring in the Io, they bring in the Greaves. Little bit of damage problems for now for the side of Spirit. Probably need to consider Taking a little bit of a chill here, just get some more damage up and running, especially on the Sven, so that you can make a much stronger and more impactful connection. His axe will be a total, a complete difference maker in this game. So, but OG are keeping this close. We are in trouble. Yes, he is. Well, this will be a tough one to hit. <laughs> Good attempt. That's in the middle of the wave. All right, just a little bit too slow to the party. Collector for Tomato. I feel like this is almost the only neutral item I highlight. I mention it every time it's picked up. Light Collector. 10% mm -hmm. move speed. Very good for him in the IO, of course. So now he's going to be running very fast with that in the Sanjin Yasha. I reckon that's true. SNY picked yep. up. So Tomato gets the extra status resist. And once the BKB comes online, is that the timing where they start forcing Radiant's fights? Because right now, it does feel attack. a little bit reactionary from OG. Like they get initiated on and the relocate comes or they can just continue playing this way because it is working out so far Yeah, I think you probably continue the same style I think making invasive maneuvers with this team is very dangerous especially into the opponent that you're facing That's not to say they can't do it, but I don't feel like this the Razor BKB completely changes the dynamic that so that they just go for that but perhaps 
Perhaps it is what they should do. All right. Gets the avalanche connection, toss in the air, trying to wait for his team to catch up, but Yotoro gets the distance. Poshka don't have vision here, so it looks like the TP will be fine. Yeah, OG are going to be hungry. If they do make aggressive moves, I don't think it's like a forced five-man kind of thing, but rather tiny plus core find something inside lane and you reload in and you outnumber and then you get out rather than five men smoke invade enemy triangle this is one of the biggest upsides to io they saw that smoke mira doesn't seem to care he will be tanking the gank so they saw the smoke and then they scanned as well just to make sure of course they weren't 100 percent sure whether they went that direction as opposed to the enemy trying opposed to the triangle for spirit radiant are scanning Collapse is going to get a courier for his troubles. Link TP. Oh, close one. What? BZM. Okay, he actually changed his mind. So originally it was the Ag's first item he was looking for, but instead yeah. goes the SNK and now he's going for it. Yep. Which is definitely more normal. <laughs> yeah. The first Radiant item Ag's typically not the, the choice. It is really good against Puck, of course. Uh, but we can see that Laurel is going to be going for a BKB, actually. So not opting for Yules this time. Now, Superman up and running for Yatoro. This is a really big power spike. They have some insane combos here, Spirit with Soulbind, with Coil. Soulbind, double Dragon Tails. Soulbind, double Stormhammer. How does that work? Does Sven fly from one and then to the Radiant's other? Or what? With the Stormhammer where you travel. Because when you have the Stormhammer where you don't travel and you're Soulbound, yeah. you just throw a hammer to one and then a hammer to the other. Oh, that's true. Who do you end up at? Do you always end up at the last guy? Probably, right? A good question, Cinderin. Uh, that's my kind of question. I would think right so. Typically the one I would annoy you with. Yep. I'm sure I, Fog would know. He's probably the only person in the world that would know that. No, of course, multiple people know that. In the world. I think... Uh... No, maybe it's only him, actually. It's always Fog. BKB Fucking finish. Nerd. Come on. <laughs> Time for Wisdom Rune. Bottom tower is under attack. Time Radiant for some stacking for your Toro. Quite quiet Please. game, this one. Gotta say. A lot of they hidden creeps for a while. It feels you know what changes that, Cinderin? Is Roche, eventually. Then it just becomes Radiant's this bottom tower 8 to 11 minute window of these big, juicy fights. Yep. wonder how much it would change if Roche was every 5 minutes. Aegis lasted like 3 minutes. Dyer's top tower is under attack. It's an interesting thought experiment to have like smaller Roche. Middle tower yeah. Can they do this? Middle tower has fallen. Uh, but Poshka can't. <laughs> That's for sure. Uh, here comes Mira. Pops the meta for it as well. Okay, they can do it. And the shard will go to His collapse. Is victory. Level 18 Sven with that wisdom. Collapse with the fireball. Eh, not too bad. Solid. Not to be mistaken well. for the drink, of course. That's the cinnamon shot. How do you... you I there's so know many things you don't know, and then you know that. <laughs> and you don't even drink. I don't. <laughs> so I, random. I've been offered one many times before. It's, it's probably very... probably in your favorite song from Pitbull or something. That's why you know it. I don't know what Pitbull is. It's a breed of dog. All right. Learning things every day with Cinderin. Dyer's middle tower. Usually very attack. useless though. Six K lead for Spirit here. I don't know what Pitbull is. <laughs> Please tell me you knew one of them. Either no. the dog breed well, or the musician. I know the dog breed. Okay, yeah. that's good. All right. And I assumed it was a musician, but I never yes. heard it before. So that, you did not really miss out, I have to say. Okay. Although. Well, I wish I could have missed out on this conversation. I'll tell you that right now. I don't know. I think you'd rather miss out on Pitbull, but maybe. Actually, it might just be Radiant's your jam. Top tower is under attack. OG, what the defend here? Ari coming from the north, trying to collapse here onto Laurel. Oh, oh. God's strength is used from Atari, looking for the opening. Laurel's gonna use the patience. He's inside the wall right now. 
plasma field to come. So he's gonna get out for the time being. But B Guitar is the one that just tries to TP out in the midst of the BKB. How do they both live there? They both live, but the BKB and God Strength are down, and I feel like this is an opening for OG. Laurel, yeah. well maybe we spoke too soon. Tree Orb. The other side of the Roche pit. We'll blink TP. So no kills, but still. Very important. <laughs> Smoke too soon again. Mira oh, tries to get off the thunder, but will fall first as Collapse. Continue on to BZM. Collapse all alone. Now he's going to try to BKB TP. Not successful for him. A very disconnected fight. Yeah, that's so disconnected. They just left with their position one and two. And then they went in. I think they expected OG to already have split off a bit too much and fragmented, because that's usually what's going to happen there, right? Okay, we didn't kill the core, it's back to farming, and then Spirit tried to pull one on them, but OG were ready for it, get the response. And like you said, a bit of a power play opportunity here with BKB and God Strength down, and even more so with DK, but OG's lineup, just not good at killing Roche. So they didn't really seem like they were able to try to go for that. But at the very least, they get an aggressive position on the map. Laurel, waiting rift onto a couple of heroes. Still has his coil as the hammer comes in from Yatoro onto Ari. He's going to get tossed into the air. God Strength is there. A nice, nice vacuum to the other side of the cliff. And BZM actually going on top of Laurel. Gets the second silence, but he's going to commit onto Yatoro instead. Who's still trying to chase Whisper. Gets glimmered. Will limp with a huge storm hammer. Chop onto Seb. Ari is dead to Laurel. And just like that, it's a five versus three for Spirit. Tomato trying to run away with the BKB activated. They finally do get Laurel in the end. But now the fireball applied. Hammer to finish the job on Tomato. And Whisper attempting to TP out in the midst of oh, such a so damage clutch. not quite there. Beautiful Aether Remnant comes out from BZM to save his brother. Damn, there's a lot of little very details there for both teams. Very, very nice Fire's fight. And at the end of the day, it kind of is a draw, which I think is a fair outcome with how the two teams played that. Slight victory for Spirit. I don't think this is the entire kill count. The, the fight recap only remembers that, but maybe it was. Was it only Larley killed? Yeah, I think so. Oh, it was just the other heroes respawning then. That's surprising. It still was a good fight for OG, just margins making the difference. And Yatoro, obviously huge in that fight, tons of damage, will be reliably able to output this for quite a while, I think, unless they can somehow get a full static link on him. But he is playing around Tomato quite well. Oh, all right. Let's get the avalanche off as the relocate's coming as well. Mira at half HP. The relocate's not going to bear any fruit, it seems. They're going to steal some camps, get watcher control, and probably just go back to where they came from. Yeah. Ari, he's trying to hound to get Toro now. Be big. Yeah, gets the stun off initially. Tomato's back with his static link. Toro wants to fight this through. The God Strength is there, cleaving through Seb. That's one kill, but it's going to cost him his own life. As Seb makes the tip. Vanished, but One for one. Gone. But the favor for OG, no doubt about it. It was the best play available for him to get that trade. He had no TP, so he couldn't be TP, TP out. But. Being alone in the middle of the map there on Sven is very surprising to me. I think with all of OG missing yeah. that. Okay, creating a lot of havoc here as the wall is placed. Mira is still signing somebody gets a nice thunder onto BZM. Now BZM has to be a bit careful as... Ari did fall in that engagement. Tomato will eventually run down Mira. I don't think he has a refresher yet for that double thunder syndrome, so... <laughs> we'll die this time. Imagine. <laughs> he just randomly has a refresher man at 25. On the support team. This is a bit of an oversight, though, from OGs that they just can't kill Roche. You're right, that lineup is atrocious at it. We're at 27 minutes, and there hasn't been one Roche yet. This is very unusual. Yeah, it's bad. It, it, it doesn't bother OG too much not to be able to kill it as long as Spirit aren't getting it either. Yeah. If you're winning the fights or at least breaking even and you're competitive in a game like this, Remove Roche for the, from the equation for now. Th I feel like this kill on Yatoro was actually the biggest kill of the entire game. He was in the middle of the map alone. They trade him for Seb. He's out for so long. And he's easily the top net worth hero in the game. That death cost him like a 2k lead on Tomato almost, or at least 1500. So Tomato is Radiant rapidly catching up. He'll be getting Butterfly now. So the true strike for Yatoro not there will make that kill a lot harder for him. 
And I feel like this lead from Spirit just might not end up cutting it. We've seen plenty of Sven games this tournament so far. We've seen a lot of convincing wins, and it feels like most of the ones where Sven is somewhat even, he doesn't really tend to pull it off in the end. So, gotta come down a lot to whether they can activate Collapse, and who knows, maybe Mira can become a monster Dyer's in 40 minutes time, but he is not itemizing to try to no. carry his TP, that's no. for sure. He's definitely playing a good boy support this time around. Itaro uh, finishes his Daedalus. Radiance top tower. They're gonna smoke up. Ari team. breaks it pretty much right off the bat. Spirit Vessel blind coil as well, but BZ. Oh shit! It. He's gonna get three shot if he's not careful. Actually able to get out just in time. And now Tomato coming in to try to finish the job. Yatoro pops his BKB low with the Dawn Strength. Now has to run away as the static link is just ripping through him. Yatoro's dead. They got the BZM trade, and now both teams probably going to be a little bit of a standoff here. Tomato. Plasma field to force Spirit back. Oh, without Yatora for 70 seconds. Easy, I'm surviving that initial go is crazy to me. Like, how does he live there? He has. Honestly, I think Cloak of Flames made the difference. Wait, he just got it, so that can't have been it. <laughs> what did he have before? I don't know. I just can't believe it. Like, I, he... I'll tell you this it wasn't Light Collector. <laughs> I mean, he had Kaya Sanj, Axe, Scepter, right? So he does have the statuses, but the amount of just burst damage Spirit threw out at him in the opening, I was sure he was going to die in the first volley of spells, but somehow stays alive, gets out, and gets a Cloak of Flames and to I'll confuse tell you what, everyone. Yeah, Toro, the Daedalus, obviously, very normal item to get. Lincoln's is what he was opting for, and I definitely agree with this. Looking at their, other than the items that I haven't looked at yet. Static link, it blocks, and I think just toss. Is that it? It's actually incredibly good. Doesn't block toss. Doesn't block toss. So yeah. toss works with phylactery, but doesn't get blocked by Lincoln. Is that correct? That's how I remember okay. growing up. I mean, they've definitely changed it, though. So, you're, are you 100% sure? Uh, I would be very surprised if it breaks Lincoln's. That's That would be very new to me. Okay, well, that's better news for Spirit, then, because it's just static link. Yeah, much that's true. It would be good here. Now, other than the items that may come. Harpoon is still also really valuable, though. He needs he needs to be kited less Radiant's in the fights. And it's weird to attack. say when he already has the Ags, but they're still able to kite him quite effectively, our OG. Who, by the way, finally gets Roche. Number one, minute 30, whatever that was, 30, 45. Putting the Aegis onto Tomato. I don't know if that's the right target. Rather have it on BZM? Yeah, maybe. Uh, you, you saw this fight, how it broke out, right? That average time, it's gone up a bit. Yep. Don't want me that meal. Dinner, dinner enjoyers rejoice. I rejoiced. believe that dinner for all those that are interested is happening tomorrow, and BSJ will be picking the restaurant, of course. Oh, I hope he picks a that. place that I love and you hate. No, that's... Yes. Not in the rules. Some really oh, nice spirit. He has, good, he has good odds of that. Going to try to go for a backstab. They don't want to focus on Tomato with that Aegis. Fireball was shown, so OG's not going to be that surprised. I feel like God Strength Toro jumping in. They're going for the Ario, and they get him. He has five dead. Soulbind not to do. That means a double silence as well. Whisper still with all of his spells. And yeah, Seb can... I mean, you'd have to relocate to get there quickly. This is a good play call for Spirit to not chase. This would have been terrible. OG would have had the high ground that would have got Vac Wall plus IO buyback into Aegis fight. I, I don't think Spirit would have had a chance. So they get the one kill they can get and back off, but that is God Strength down. So I think this mid-tier two tower, especially with the Amp Rune, it's just going to go down. Okay. I'm, calling it I'm, amp I'm never going to call it that again. I just started saying Amplify, and I was like, I can't be bothered to say the whole thing. Yeah, yeah you're lazy. Yeah, it's a damage rune. Let's just call it that. How Thank about you. Da damn rune? Damn rune? Yeah. I mean, when you, when you hit with it, you're like, damn. That's true. I'd be into that as well. And if you have Echo Saber, it's double Dyer's damn, damn. which is where the name is from. I think you've outlived your joke, because Laurel. <laughs> wow. Radiant are scanning. <laughs> That's good. I like that. <laughs> Tomato almost has Satanic. He is definitely having himself a great game. But 
How does late game, like extreme, not that we're there yet, I'm just wondering, extreme mm -hmm. late game Razor, how does he feel? Did you get like the refresher and all yeah. that? But is there, it feels like there's a certain point where you start to fall off a bit. I think that's a the case. Not necessarily, I feel like that's like, that's a bit of an outdated take on the hero in my opinion, because the 25 talent is as good as it is. It's down to whether you can anti-carry or not. The 25 talent Link Steel's attack speed is ridiculous against melee cores. So whatever, like let's say you have a shortcoming against specific carries and overall bang for your buck with the net worth, which is probably true against plenty of heroes. If you get half a static link or full static link off, it's not just that you gain the damage and they lose it. The attack speed as well effectively like, you just take Sven out of the game if you yeah. get a Link, right? Or against Dragon Knight, too, who, by the way, is in some serious trouble. You're probably BKB TP, I reckon. There you go. You'll love when I say that, I know. Just so distracting. I'll get out. This is not a normal word. We asked, we, we did a survey backstage with plenty of participants. Plenty, um, one. Yeah. And those participants said it's a great and normal word. And who was that person? Let's see how much uh, credibility they have when you say his name. Dyer's bottom uh, tower. Whenever bottom. you do a survey, oh, people prefer okay. to. BKB from your Toro, he'll oh, be able yeah. to get out. They don't have any cancel for that. We've seen it many times this game. I know you wouldn't know this, but when you do a survey, people are anonymous, so we will not disclose who was talking. It was Jenkins. Avatars from Ari. It was no longer a survey. As Boots of Bearing being selected from here. Very nice. Laurel gets out. He's going to pop the Boots of Bearing. Run! Gets to the high ground, going through the gate. He's fine. He is definitely not fine. <laughs> the support. Terrorblade has died, and now Tomato oh, will steal nice. the Tormentor as Ari will get his shard. Swift aggression from OG here. Yeah, so I think the Boots of Bearing logic here is you want to have a way of running out of the Darkseer wall. I think that's the main thing. He's giving his teammates a way out once they get walled, so then the, he, they can ignore the slow for a short amount of time, and also maybe help them escape Static Link. I actually really like this purchase here. I think it's quite clever. Um, still need to get in the type of situation where it Whoa, matters, did though. did he just self-link? Oh boy, Ari at the four step outside the coil. The Stormhammer is reserved for him as a god strength. Okay. But, uh, let's just call that a misclick. They want him yeah. real dead. He wants to fight, apparently. Astral step upon Yatoro. Try to kite him shortly. Will not. Oh, gets the sheep now. Kaposhka nearby. Wall is placed, though. Stormhammer to the crease to try to get out of the Satanic as well. Attempting to TP, but. He didn't be KP. Gets the vacuum to cancel it. Oh, what a be blunder! The How did he not be KP there? Yeah, right. Wow. I figured he'd used it earlier then, but you're right. It is off cooldown. Oh, that is expensive. That's going to be the whole map claim for OG. They Dyer's can just push in top. They can do whatever they want. So it does, it's on cooldown as he get hexed, right? Now one, he's hitting. It's re, it was Dyer's ready for a full second before he TP'd there. Yeah. So definitely just a mistake all around here from Yotoro, and that is... A really big cleanup for OG. They might even knock on the high ground here without Aegis, trying to force this buyback. They know Spirit don't have the damage to kill heroes without this sun. And Tomato just breathing in the fireball, enjoying the essence of it. Mm -hmm. The fumes. Tower already at half HP is collapsed. Is level 19, but you can see the coil initiation from Laurel. They try to focus on to Seb. He's getting pretty low. The Grief's not enough to keep him alive. Does die. Still has the buyback from earlier, though. Okay. And OG. Lol says, I'll do it myself with a damage rune plus Parasma Ags. Bottle still poking. Can just barely kill the IO. Yeah, but now that the Ags is on the DK, Black Dragon at the, his disposal. Is under attack. Now we're still taking heavy damage. Looks like it will fall, collapse. It's on the Dragon, the Fireball, the follow step, does buy back into the game. Ari with the Avatar, tossing the mirror, tossing Mira back. It's off the Sunder though. We'll get silenced and destroyed. The Toro's back in eight seconds. Dire structures are fortified. Does OG want to stick around? No. Oh, they brought, oh, they brought Razor back to base. This could be bad. <laughs> yeah, this is not good, potentially. Ari. He will definitely die to Yatoro's right click. Whisper. Man, so many BKB TPs this game. I don't think Seb meant to do that, actually. You don't think so? Why? I don't think there was a reason to bring back the Razor. If you were scared of this fight breaking out, you would have left in a different way anyway. Well, then it would have been 4v5 if it was just him, right? 
Yeah, there's no terror blade. You still have position. Your cores can protect each other, and you can come back to the fight. I don't know. I mean, maybe it was on purpose, but I guess they only end up selling tiny, so not too bad. Clear window of opportunity given there. It's not like Tomato can't do anything without the IO, right? He can definitely still stand his ground and deliver, but maybe with the BKB cooldown. You know what? Perhaps you're right. Maybe you wanted to take him out and they just cut their losses. Courier has been killed. With just the tiny. This would be a really good IO shard game, by the way. The Tormentor is up. Not sure if he's going to purchase it, but the spell. Uh, is this spell amp or spell lifesteal? Either way. 10% spell lifesteal and 30% slow resist. Yeah, for Razor. I mean, how much does Very hybrid just, type hero. How much does that spell amp really do? I don't know what his breakdown of damage is in a game like this. Maybe it's more than you would expect. I would think it's quite good. No. You, you might be right. I just, I don't know when it comes to Razor how his damage distribution is. Let's see what he chooses. He's running a token right now. Aesthetics cap will be found by Mira. That's a good one for the Terrorblade. And Razor will get the same one, so... Tanking up, getting that status assist, and he gets initiated on. And once that refresher comes out, that is close to peak Razor. He is going to be Dive very strong. Yeah. There might be a contest here. Collapse. He's going to be spotted. He's going to be Avatar. He's going to be bursted. He's going to be dead. Nice kill. Even a wall is used. Refresher is being brought out now. God, I love this wall. Rain. It reminds me of Diablo 1. You would know this if you play the end. This is the path down to hell. This is level 13 to 16 right here. Okay. Placed by the darks here. Very cool, Cinder. There's old people out there re pre Dyer appreciating this reference. Down. Unfortunately for you, you're very young. A lot ahead of you. Yeah. What? They kill him? Diablo? Never heard of it. <laughs> yeah, he <laughs> <laughs> Actually true. Wait, like, what are you talking about? What's Diablo? Roche. Up in a little over a minute. OG, they're keeping this close for sure. It feels like they are in the driver's seat. I feel like they're ahead. They probably, I mean, definitely ahead. They've been winning every fight. It hasn't been like super one-sided, but they've been coming out ahead pretty much every fight. And a lot of it comes down to Yatoro just getting picked off. The scary part for OG is Spirit. We've seen Spirit have some ridiculous oh. late games, even really far behind with their Sven. We saw them against Betboom, almost recovering a game against Void. Yeah, but they've lost both of those. Right, but they made it very competitive. And I think the conditions this time around are better. Nice win probability for OG. I'm sure every, everybody out there appreciates that. Um, Radiant the, are scanning. Uh, even if you're behind in this game, I think you have much better chances in the core-to-core -core matchup against Razor than the one against Void. Like, that one is just terrible in the late game. But this is a game that Radiant Spirit can also win minute 80, as far as I'm concerned, especially with Puck being a little bit of an X-factor. We've seen Malreen with a Rapier pop off, and it's worth nope. starting to consider the possibility that we could get there for the side of Spirit. Laurel is scaling very nicely. Let's see what his plan is. Eric grouping up. Aeon Disc is on the... This Roche is available. <laughs> gonna start they it. They actually, they can take this very fast compared to OG. OG now making their way over. Collapse is gonna try to slow them down. I think this Aegis is gonna go the way of Spirit, though. Indeed. And they also got God Strike for a bit. Okay, they're leaving. Now the BKB TP, as we've seen a million times. Mira doesn't have a BKB because he's a support Terrorblade. Tomato will clean up Poposhka. And Mira's going to make this a little bit more difficult for Ari. Ari's trying to investigate, make sure this is, in fact, a support Terrorblade and not a core. Thunder comes out. He's going to waste their time as much as he can. <laughs> this is taking a lot longer than I thought it was, not going to lie. Ari at the top, so finally, they kill off the TV. So... I thought Spirit were actually maybe going to stick around and try to fight there. They Radiance they get the Roche, and the they had half a God Strength left. They used nothing else. But they felt like this was going to be such a long fight, and they were in such a compromised position that OG were going to come out ahead, and it might have been the right call. It only cost them the two supports after all. Dyer's bottom but they, even the supports in this map that OG get to farm for the next minute is worth quite a lot of gold. Gold is a great conductor. So slow resistance, Cinderin. Got to remind me on some of these mechanics here. Yes. It's, it's not about the duration. It's about the strength of the slow, correct? 
I think it's both. Oh, man. I think it's not, because status resistance does one. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, it has to be a mount. So isn't that just inherently good against DK? Yes. I feel like this shark's really good. Uh, okay, not really, but this game, it's quite good for I. Yeah. I mean, I will get it eventually, no matter what. Yeah, I would think so. He got it now, right? Or still doesn't have it? No, still doesn't not. have it. I have it yet. Maybe I'm overrating it. It's definitely possible. The Toro with a high ground position. And it's a level advantage. God strength is going to find Tomato who pops the BKB, but really they're focusing on Seb. As the Grimstroke dies, Tomato trying to keep his support alive, doing a pretty good job of that. And that's Static Link number one. Doesn't even need the second, but that is the age is gone already. Collapse, trying to create some space. Now the focus is on this Razor. Double Astro attack from BZM, focusing all their efforts onto Yatoro. Has to go onto Mungo to try to run away, but the Static Link finds him. Again, the Sven is dead. Not putting on much of a fight. Collapse. They really need to get a Bash or something on somebody. My god. But the opening to this fight from Yatoro, it, it doesn't quite make sense. So he pops God Strength and goes in, but doesn't BKB. And then he gets killed, and he has a BKB for the second life, and it's just useless. He has no damage. Yeah, that's true. The BKB has to be used on the God Strength Dyer's life. If you don't want to commit Dyer's fully, then Dyer's you have to Storm Hammer in and not pop the, the God Strength if you want to buy some information or whatever, and then really commit on the Dyer's second life. But if you're going for it, you might as well pop everything. It's not Dyer's like... Ooh, divine time. Yeah. Yeah, we'll get that instead of the Aeon Disc. I really agree Dyer's with this choice. I think we're in... Not necessarily desperation mode here for the side of spirit, but Maybe you gotta use your hands. Oh wait, he's dead. Never mind. Keep it up. <laughs> Keep the cheerleading going. Keep Four laughing. Five seconds. They're gonna fight for another 40 seconds. Yeah, they're gonna have the rapier reveal here. There's the coil. Already tons of damage applied to Mount a nice vacuum coming into the wall as well. That's the death of the DK. Now BZM to get the Yules off, but Mira is gonna be the recipient of all this damage. No Sunder to come, he's bursted down as well. They barely even tickled them with that rapier. Tamato just stood his ground, Dyer's delivered. Barracks are under attack. Okay, and the pause from Ari. All right, what's your guess that this is? Is it Discord, is it headphone, <laughs> is it bladder? Can we get the music going? And Seb is like, good pause. Good job, right. guys. Keep it up. And what's the trivia this time? <laughs> Internet, oh, so close. I guess that was an easy choice. <laughs> Any lag, anything of that relation Dang. is internet. My bet boom button didn't work. <laughs> yeah, what happened to our bet boom button? We got to use it one time. Man. <laughs> well, this will certainly be two sets of racks and maybe even the GG soon. There it is, uh, yeah. Nice. Let's go. All right. Of course, they're not in this game, in case you're wondering. But they are in the upper bracket finals. This pause is brought to you by that team because they paused a lot in this tournament. I didn't even think about that when we were paused <laughs> and I thought of Bed Boom. I must now have been. Know. I'm actually. Damn. That's subliminal. That is. Advertising or something. Whatever you want to call it. You know, that would be genius. They have all these headphone issues, and then they come out with a headphone sponsor right after. Like, oh, we fixed all our issues. No more pauses to come. All right. Yep. Okay. Sorry, didn't realize. Seth is not here. No one realized because he's dead, of course. <laughs> Look at his webcam. He's certainly not there. I think this Did you not notice that the clapping stopped? I think this chair could play the next 16 seconds as well as Seb. <laughs> I don't think it makes much of a difference. You just win in 16 seconds. Yeah, that's true. Are you ready to now, in pub games, you usually unpause until the death timer is on one. Then you pause again. But two things. First of all, this is not a pub game. Secondly, they don't know for a fact that Seb doesn't have buyback because it's on a one second cooldown. <laughs> so he actually webcam. could it's come back with it. FPS right now. Okay, there. Looks like his internet line now. And third, his communication could be invaluable even while dead. But now the buyback is online. Dyer's All right, going for the lane. Bangas. Look at that illusion. Helping out. The corpse of collapse, essentially. Finally go away, but... Mata will clean up this tier three bot. Yatoro is up. DK does have buyback. So they can try a 4v5. The DK with no dragon form as of Dyer's now. Bottom barracks are under attack. Not that far away. 
Mara looking for an opening. Mara will pop his Eye of the Storm, and that's a melee Rax down. And it looks like it's just Megas, so Spirit very comfortable for going against Megas. They got a lot of practice. Oh no, here we go again. They have a good Rapier Hero in there on defense. Yeah, they don't have a PA Rapier though. That was that was a True. special, special case, I feel. Now Puck, uh, like you need, what do you need? You need like a Daedalus or something. You need a crit of something. Oh, they have, they have the banner, by the way. Laurel has it in his backpack. Has he forgotten about it? Or it's in his stash, maybe. It's in his backpack. OG will claim the Tormentor and they will get a shard for BZM. So Seb will never get his. Yeah, seems to be the case. All that hype for nothing. Typical shoutcaster things. Spirit gonna have to find some sort of a jump that works out. And the banner, of course, can be used to help themselves. I think they have to get a rape here on Sven. I don't think this. I don't know. Is Moonshard really better here? Maybe his attack speed is too bad to support a rape here. Well, his attack speed will be stolen now, though, from Kamada. Yeah. That's his thinking. As the buildings, as they're so affectionately called. We'll be going down slowly as well to Tomato's right click. As OG, ready to go for tier fours now, knocking on the door. Yatoro has to do something. God strength is there. Laurel jumps in with that BKB. Long oh, with the with the hex onto Yatoro. Just getting so quick. A huge back wall. Oh, holy oh, my Absolutely God. disgusting combo from Whisper. Good game. And Mira's gonna get cleaned up. Ultra kill for Tomato. Desperately looking for the... Okay. <laughs> okay, he can't get the Rampage while crashed. That's for sure. Oh, that Plasma Field crashed his computer. I think we can... Because he... They paused really fast, by the way if he crashed during that plasma field. Yeah, maybe it wasn't a crash, maybe it was just a full-on freeze and he thought he was crashing. So. Yeah, I guess that's true, never disconnected. And onto the buildings they go, Dyer's buybacks. Used by Spirit, but Yatoro doesn't have his. As Ari with the Avatos on the mirror, setting up a potential good Sunder for him. Soulbind into really nothing. Just trying to keep them at bay is Laurel from behind is going to get hacked. He's going to get silenced. Can't jump now. And that is the Divine on the deck. BZM doesn't even bother picking it up. As GG's are called, we are going to a game number three. For the sixth series in a row, or seventh. I don't know how many it's been by this point, but the uh, yeah. all series yesterday were three games today so far, both as well. And oh